Hi, I'm Connor, and welcome to the Barrett Honors College campus. Here, we're in Palm Courtyard, which is the entrance to our campus. One of the interesting features of the campus is this fountain right here, which identifies this as the Craig and Barbara Barrett Honors College. In 2000, the Barretts endowed the University College with $10 million. The following year, the University Honors College was renamed Barrett the Honors College. Near the entrance of the campus is Sage North. It houses the administrative offices, which includes the deans, the honors academic advisors, and the student program staff. It's really great to have the staff and administration so easily accessible. Behind me is the Great Court, a place where students gather and events are staged. One of the most popular events is the Barrett Parents Association Smoothie Saturday, a day when parents make smoothies for students preparing for finals and then serve them here in the Great Court. Other events include fall welcome and homecoming activities. The Great Court also is just a fantastic place to hang out, especially during our mild winters. There's even an outdoor fireplace and patio area that is a favorite among students. Now, let's go to Rita, who will show us a few of the rooms in the residence halls. Thanks, Connor. Hi, I'm Rita, and we're going to look at the Barrett Residential Community. Our students have four floor plans that they can choose from. Let's start by taking a look at the most common style of room for first year students. This is the shared bedroom, shared bath plan. Four suite mates share two bedrooms and a large bathroom. The beds can be lofted up higher for more room underneath. In this room, each student gets a twin extra long bed, desk, chair, small file cabinet, shelf, and three drawer chest. Every student has their own double-sided mirrored closet. Across the hall are the private bedroom, shared bath style rooms. Here you will have your own private bedroom and share a bath with one other suite mate. The furniture in this room is the same as the one we just visited. Any student can bring a TV, microwave, and or refrigerator. This is the quad or apartment style room. This floor plan features a small kitchenette and living room area. The furniture you see here is included in the room. The four suite mates each have their own private bedroom and they share two bathrooms. Every bathroom in the Barrett residence halls has a tub and shower combination. And finally, there is the efficiency floor plan, which has a private bedroom and bath. There are only a few of these rooms on each floor. Each hall has its own full kitchen with refrigerator, stove, oven, sink, and dining area where you can make your own meals or late night snacks. Nearby each kitchen is a laundry room. Online, you can find out how many washers or dryers are available. Plus, you can receive a text when your clothes are finished. Sky lounges on the upper floors offer panoramic views of Tempe, the ASU campus, and the mountains beyond. Barrett features the Sustainability House at Barrett, or SHAB. Located in two of our residence halls, this is an intentionally designed student-led community. SHAB offers its residents an open-air central lounge, optional clothesline to dry laundry, a rooftop garden, and sustainability-related floor events. This community is ideal not only for sustainability majors, but also for any students with an interest in sustainability. Lastly, Barrett students are expected to live on campus their first two years. If you want to continue living at Barrett after that, we'd certainly encourage you to do so. Living on campus is an integral part of your college experience and helps you feel more connected. Barrett at the Tempe campus has nine buildings, eight of which are residential. The ninth building is Honors Hall, which Reem will show you right now. Thanks, Rita. Hey guys, I'm Reem, and I'm here at the heart of the Barrett Tempe campus, Honors Hall. This is where students like to hang out, study, and most importantly, eat. Here's the Burning Bee Cafe, where you can get anything from smoothies to coffee. It's perfect for those early morning classes or even those late night study sessions. Across from the cafe is a social lounge. Here we can hang out and relax, play pool, or even watch some TV. At the other end of Honors Hall is the Barrett Dining Hall. Let's go and take a look. Barrett's Dining Hall is known as the best on campus and features an ever-changing menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There are vegetarian and vegan options, a grill station, salad bar with locally sourced produce, stir-fry station, deli, and the very popular gelato bar. And this is the refectory, or as we like to call it, the Harry Potter room. Hanging from the ceilings are flags representing each of the different schools here at Arizona State University. The refectory is used for dining, as well as movie viewing, honor lectures, and meetings. On the second floor of Honors Hall is the Barrett Study Lounge and Computer Lab. Open every day of the week, it's a great place to complete assignments with access to printers and highly equipped PCs. It's also one of the quietest places on campus and a great place to study. 
Across the hall from the lounge is the Barrett Gym. Open 24 hours, the Barrett Gym features cardio machines as well as free weights. After eating all that great Barrett food, it's nice to have a place to work off the extra calories. And this is the Lorraine W. Frank Office of National Scholarship Advisement. The staff helps prepare ASU students to apply for nationally competed scholarships and fellowships such as Truman, Rhodes, and Fulbright. These pictures you see on the wall of Honors Hall represent past awardees. Maybe someday we'll see your picture here too. So that was Honors Hall. It's absolutely one of my favorite parts of the Barrett Tempe campus. Now, let's throw it back to Connor and wrap up this tour. Classrooms at Barrett, like this one, are used for the college's signature class called the Human Event. It is a small, student-centered, seminar-style class in which you and your classmates explore the world's greatest literature and most profound ideas. The faculty are chosen for their ability to facilitate lively, meaningful discussion. The first floor of Sage South houses the offices of these Barrett faculty. It is a tremendous benefit to have these teachers be so available, especially when you need help with that Human Event paper. So thank you for coming on this tour of Barrett, the Honors College. We hope to see you sometime soon. In the meantime, you can find more information on our website at barretthonors.asu.edu.